Just under two minutes, gentlemen. Just under two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Try to pick it up. Try to pick it up. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. My, my 13 years around to do a little bit what I've been. <laughs> I'd be like, are you really blaming me? Huh? I would be like, are you really blaming me? <laughs> 50 <laughs> seconds, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, sir. What's that? Twenty seconds, guys. Sir. Yes, sir. Good. All right, guys. So a couple things really quick. I want to go ahead and get started really fast. Uh, let's see here. Preston, let's start with you really quick, man. I want to see where you're at on your empty hand form really fast because I haven't had a chance to kind of see you. So I'm going to spotlight you. You'll go first, then dad will go next. Right. So let's see here. I'm going to put you on the pin video. Hold on a second, buddy. Let me uh, close this window so I can see you a little bit better. All right. There you go. Yeah, can you do me a favor? Can you back up about five steps? Thank you. Good. All right. So that'll be good. So just do your best, Bubba. Yes, sir. Yeah. Boss of Okay, so it's Hian Nidan, just so you know. It's Hian Nidan, right? Basada is a totally different form, but that's okay. We got a couple little things to work on, but that's fine. I wanted to make sure that I could see it right here. Uh, Chris, would you go next, please? Sure. Thank you. Hian Nidan. That's all you remember? All right, that's cool. It is what it is. Uh, Adam, I'm coming to you next. Let's see uh, how you do. Sir, I don't remember it. Holy moly, are you kidding me? Yes, sir. You are kidding me? No, I'm not kidding, sir. Oh my gosh. All right, so uh, we're gonna put Sarah on the spot then. She should obviously know it, but let's, let's put her on the uh, pin video really quick so you guys can see that. All right, Miss Sarah, let's go. Mm -hmm. That's all right. 
All right, guys, so a couple things really quick. So all of us, there's a couple things that need to happen, right? So the first thing that I need to make sure that we all understand is the idea and the concept that, especially for those of us that are a little bit older, that's Sarah, myself, and that's Chris, right? We're a little bit older. We're not going to generate the same speed and power that we used to when we were in our 20s, right? So what we have to be able to do is make sure that our structure and our frame is 100% correct, right? So when I stand here, let me give you a couple of details why you stand the way you stand, right? Because uh, a lot of times kata is no longer taught because the people that teach kata, they have no idea what the bunkai is, when it was actually used and how it was used in a fight, not some sort of dancing nonsense. Does that make sense? Right? So this first move says that we start in a position, in a ready type position, right? Who knows what that position would be in real time because it's not like you're always going to know when the guy's coming to punch you or hit you. But that first move, when I step out, it's a step out. I'm driving weight. I set my base and my frame. Does that make sense? Right? I'm either driving it here, and so my frame comes here, my other hand comes here. Now, what am I really looking for? I'm looking for the line of my elbow to be here. Look, guys, if my arm is here, it's already jammed. Think of it like jujitsu. Does that make sense? Right now, in, in our jujitsu class, we're working right now, guys, believe it or not, on teaching children how to escape side control. And here's the funniest part about this one hand frames on the neck, the other hand has to frame on the hip, and then the other knee comes in like this. Now, oddly enough, look what our position looks like. Do you understand? It's just a slightly different interpretation. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. All martial arts, you can only move your body a certain number of ways, right? It's up to you, the martial artist, to find out all of the structural ways that you can use to defend yourself. Does that make sense? So the idea is very simple, right? If Sarah's throwing a right-hand punch, right, I can duck it. I can block it, I can parry it, depending on the style, or like the hard style of, uh, of karate, right? When she starts to throw that punch, boom, when I set my frame, when I set my frame, you guys have seen this before, I set my frame here, my hand is up here covering, it's more like a net block. I don't really know where it's coming, I just don't want to get hit in the face. But this arm structurally has to be here, it can't be here. You see, if my hand is right here, guys, you see, I'm going to be in some trouble. Now, when you look at the pretty version in the books and things like that, you're gonna see stuff like this. My hand is gonna be here, my hand is gonna be here. And this is the pretty version. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Does that make sense? Nothing wrong with that. But it's got, it's got different interpretations. Your actual hit may be a little bit here. Now we practice it here, right, as perfect as possible because when adrenaline hits our system, we're gonna make, make a mistake, it's okay, right? Now we're gonna come here, right? It doesn't have to reach all the way. It can be short and tight. Right, so I come here, I come here, I come here. Does that make sense? But this pull is here, I don't want my arm here, right? Because I'm trying to hyperextend. Kind of like on the angle two in Kali, where if, uh, hold on a second, right? In the angle two of Kali, right? When Sarah has this stick, let's say she came at a one, but I parry it, boom, she comes at a two, boom, I hit here. I step in, I stop, right? My hand is going to come across, just like we teach you in Silap. And look, I don't come this way. Look, I come this way. When I go pop like this, my goal is to hyperextend the elbow. That's what I'm doing. I'm pushing her this way. I'm hyperextending here. That's one interpretation. It comes from an art called Kali. You guys know this Kali, right? But now in the Kata, it looks all pretty, like this. Do you understand? But a lot of times, you guys are doing this. It's never going to work. I, to hyperextend her arm to hurt her elbow, I need to use my chest as the fulcrum. Does that make sense? So my sure. elbow has to come back, right? So I'm going to go one, I go two, boom, three, so that I can come one, two, three, and then I slide. Does that make sense? Sure. Cool. So here's what I want to do really quick, right? I'm going to have all of you guys do this, right? Let's just go ahead and set up from a ready stance really fast. Right, I'm gonna kind of move out of the way so you guys can actually see Sarah doing this as well, right? No, that's fine, just like there's good. Actually, hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna make sure this is mirrored because it's gonna look like Sarah's going the other way. And uh, you guys are gonna be like, wow, Sarah's really messing up. Yeah. To which I will be like, yes, right? God, did you guys see that? It's horrible. Let's see here, boom. There we go. Now we're mirrored. Now you guys should be good. So now what I was doing should look exactly like what you guys are going to be doing. All right, just to make sure, everybody really quick, wave with your right hand. Good. It only took Sarah the longest, and she's right next to me to wave. Thanks, guys. Let's <laughs> go.
<laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm trying not to lose it here. Let's wait with the right hand, please. Are you serious? All right, so you, so I'm gonna have to change you, Sarah, because you're actually doing it. No, no, you're 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 fine. As long as you're moving the right hand, Sarah, you're going to be good. I just don't want to confuse these guys. All right, guys. So here you go, guys. First move is I want a good, strong stance, hard set with the arms in the set frame. The elbow can't be too low or you're going to jam it. You're going to hurt your own elbow and shoulder. Ready? First move. Go. All right. So I'll reset quicker. Sure. Right. You ready? Go. All right. And reset. Get ready. Go. Good. Reset. Other way, go. Look at the arm sets, there you go, good. Now, check your structure out, guys. Check your structure out right now, right? So the cool thing is, is I'm recording this and I'll upload this so you guys can see it there in the class. Your body structure is gonna be important. Here's what I'm gonna want you guys to kind of think about. The, the alignment of your spine and your back right now, if you're leaning too far forward or too far back, it's not gonna be strong enough to stop the impact, right? So now, let's see the subsequent hand motions. You have the top hand that folds in and hits. Yes, good. So the right, uh, your left hand in this case, Preston should be on your shoulder. Okay, reset for me, please. All right, so we're all starting to, did you teach these guys to start to the left on this one, yes? Good, 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 all right, good, excellent. You guys were taught to start to the left on this one, yes, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good. Let's let's look really quick. Everybody move to your left first move. Go. Thank you. Now, strike, strike. Thank you. Now, here, look at the elbows, guys. You see your right elbow? It should be pointed straight to the back wall. So in this case, Preston and uh, Chris, back to the weight machine. Yes, thank you. Open it up. That's what's going to pop it. Reset. Let's do this again. Right, Adam, your elbow is going to point at the red wall, not the tan wall, the red wall, the one with yes, the medals on there. You know when you used to compete? Yes, sir. All right, fantastic. What are those over, over there for? Is that ballet medals? What are those? No, it's karate medals, sir. Dude, really? Yes, sir. Man, all right. <laughs> I love it. You adjusted the view. Adam, I'm jacking with you. Come on now. Here we go. <laughs> First one. Here we go. Get ready and go. First move. I, holy smack okay start over i'm not gonna say which dark skinned a person in the video uh messed up but uh, it wasn't me i'll say it that way here we go to the left ma get ready first move go I, good now double strike go pop pop good. now check those elbows those elbows need to be pulled all the way back because you're doing a hyperextension there your right fist should be glued to your floating ribs now you're going to quick transition hard block and strike and posture to the other side go Hard block, boom, batter. Now, check your stances because your stance is what's setting the footwork that's setting the frame, right? And so if your feet have to move a little bit, that's okay. Now, double strike, go, pop, pop. Good, again, oh, Chris, you're off. There you go, good, slide up. Yes, now, you're stacked right here. This is gonna be super important. Both of those palms should be stacked on top of each other. If you're fortunate, you are able to manipulate the wrist and twist it in an outward fashion. That tends to shift the body weight. Now, this next kick is usually demonstrated in the States as a high kick, but it really goes at attacking the knee. Does that make sense? And then the back fist, even though it's shown high, usually towards the temple, is actually attacking the soft part of the neck. They have to fly out at the same time and a hard shoot though. Ready, go. Good, reset, let's do this again, because that needs to be harder, right? So just go back to that stack position, just like Sarah's doing right here, okay? Get ready and fire. Now, reset for me. So a couple of things really quick, guys, I wanna share with you, right? On your shootos, right? So there's a couple of things that you need to understand about your shootos. So I'm gonna cross my hand on my body, just like so. Hopefully this makes sense to you. So my hand is here, right? So my hand stays at this diagonal. I just kind of step back away from it, right? So look, I'm just kind of stepping back away from it. But you see this diagonal, right? There's a 90 degree bend here. There's about 45 here, right? But it's coming here, so it comes across my body. Does that make sense? I'm angling it across. Does that make sense? Yes, right? sir. My angles, my straight lines and my angles, those are gonna be either, whether I'm coming at you with a blunt weapon or a sharp weapon, the angle is, is here on a diagonal, usually. You understand, right? So if I'm here and I do my hit, when I come through here and I drop, this is, 
This is a drop in a set. It's here, right? And so this should be strong, right? I chamber, I am chambered. Up, up, just like this, simple. Does that make sense? And now when I move forward, it hits, right? It's super important that it's sudden, but set. I set. Right when I hear it hit, boom, this hits at the same time. It can't be one, two, or one, two. Does that make sense? Same time, right? And this is boom, same time. Does that make sense, guys? Sure. Cool. Let's start again really quick. So Sarah's gonna be right here. You ready from the very beginning? Yeah. Right? First move. Go. All right. Good. Now freeze. Again, check your stances, check your posture, right? Good. Now, double striking, hard. Go. Pop up. Good. Check those elbows for me. Good. Shift block. Yes. Good. Now, again, check your stances. Be thinking about this. I showed you guys the bunkai at the beginning. I want you to play with this later. Not now, obviously, but later. Now, you're going to go ahead and double strike. Go. Up, up. Okay, Chris, that's the one that's throwing you. Yes. Good. Check those elbows again. Good. And now slide fast. Good. Now, your knees will be slightly bent here. They won't be fully elongated. Slightly bent at the top. Now, a hard knee strike, a hard neck shot, and then turn hard shoot though. Go, hit it. Good, now, hey. here's what needs to really work. So this next movement, right, go, boom, sudden. Ready, go, hit, hey. reset, do it again. And that last move, just that last move, so you're all right here, right? Get ready, go, hey. Hey. Okay, reset, quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, except for Chris and well, Sarah, you young guys, I should not be able to beat any of you guys, right? Chris is my age, Sarah's a little bit older than me, right? But here we go, you ready? Go, up, hey. Boom, reset, let's do this again, come on. Ready, go, hey. Okay, right, and again, it's hitting, it's hitting, right? Does that make sense? I'm deflecting, I'm hitting. Does that make sense? Okay, let's try it again, ready, go. Reset, hey. Good, so again, look at what's happening. Top hand folds, back hand comes up, and then comes through here, does that make sense? I could literally, guys, look, think of it this way. If Sarah's right here, turn the turn, please. If Sarah's right here, let's say this punch is coming. I hope you guys can see this, right? I can literally go, boom, here. Just like in the Philippines, excuse me, just like in the Jun Fan, right? Or Wing Chun, right? There's a lot of inside motions, right? I'm parrying and I'm hitting. Think of it that way. Your shoot, though, is your parry and your strike, right? So if this is coming, pop, pop. It's just here, right? Very much like seeking, just like when we seek, boom. We're seeking, and then it's coming back out. Does that make sense, right? So again, we're all right here. Sarah, please. We're all right here, right? Again, we're here, 45 degree angle, right? And move, go, up, hi. Good, reset one more time. So Chris, make sure your hand is coming up over like you're gonna touch your ear, and then deliver. Ready, go, hi. Reset, do it again. So the hand that's on your stomach, Chris, that's the one that I'm looking for. The one that's on your stomach goes across and touches the ear. Ready, go. Hey. Better, much better, reset. Let's go. Fire. Hey. Good, reset again. Good, so now remember your goal is to move suddenly with some speed, with some power, and go. Hey. Hey. Reset, one more time. Come on, not bad, ready, go. Hey. Good. And now you're gonna move forward right from there. Ready? Go. Hey. Now spear hand. Go. Hey. Hey. Good. And reset for me, please. All right. So pressing. Just be careful with your finger. Your bottom finger was out a little bit, right? It's like you're making a sock puppet. You're gonna break that finger. Does that make sense? All right. Let's try from the beginning. Here we go. Get ready. Yanni Don. Ready? First move. Go. Hey. Double strike. Good. Check those elbows, please. Switch block. Double strike. Hey. <laughs> Chris, that one gets you every time. Check that elbow for me, please, Chris. Thank you. Slide up. Double strike. Hey. Nice, Adam. That looked good. All right, moving forward. Remember, Chris, the hand that's on your stomach is going to be touching the ear. Ready? Go. Yes, thank you. Go. Nice. Go. Hey. Okay, reset. So on that last one now, let's fix this really quick. So we started here, right? Let me scoot over just a little bit, thank you. So right here, so we're right together. So we're set, right? We went one, we went two, we went three. Now, on the fourth one, 
it's a, it's a little bit of an angle change. So you can think of this, these first three, yes, they're traveling on a line. But this fourth one, guys, remember, back stance, traditionally speaking, we're on the same fighting line, the same railroad track, if you will. Does that make sense? When we go to a front stance, you should have seen my body shift a little bit. Does that make sense? My feet now are on two different railroad tracks. So this hand, let's go back, Sarah. This hand here almost is shoving out of the way. You see how it's kind of moving over the way so that I can insert over the top. So if you think about it that way, all right, it'll, it'll help you a lot of times. Um, Chris, I'm sure you've messed around or pressing them, bugging you or whatever, and you kind of just move them out of the way and you do something like this, right? Same kind of an idea. When we used to play some of those games like belt tag or, or you know, when we would grab those belts, right, we would move their hands and then we would reach in for the belt. It's the same motion. Does that make sense? I move one direction, I enter with the other, okay? So let's go to that third shoot though. Your left side is in front currently, right? So the left side is in front. You're gonna go from one straight line to two straight lines and your lead hand is gonna push the incoming strike to the side so you can enter with the knife hand and or actual uh, sharp object. Ready? Go! Hi! Uh, reset. Sarah totally goofed that up, guys. Sorry. It's totally messed me up. I know that was probably the most perfect version you guys ever did, but I was distracted by this. All right, get ready and go. Hi! Hi! Better. Now, Chris, this one is going to insert straight like a spear, right? Sometimes this is referred to as a spear hand, so it'll come straight from the tummy, straight out, okay? Back to that last move one more time, please, guys. Yes, sir. Go. Hi. Hi. Much better. Good. Now, check your front stance, guys. Hips are squared to the front, and remember, your feet are going to be shoulder width apart, maybe shoulder width and a half apart, right? So you should be very, very comfortable there. If you were about to push let's say a wall or a car or an object, your feet should be firmly planted with the back leg straight, okay? Reset, one more time on just this movement. Good, get ready, go. Hey! Excellent, all right, let's go back to the beginning. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna give you one command, guys. I want you to do all the way up to that spear hand, okay? Yes. Do your best. Here we go, get ready and go. <laughs> Uh, now, fix those stances for me. Uh, Chris, there you go. Back leg needs to be straight. Yep, turn your hips square. Remember, yes, because it's a front stance. So super important. The feet need to be wide this way, right? So wide this way. There you go, good. Now, go back to the very beginning, please, guys, one more time. Yes, sir. Good. So, Chris, when you did your second movement, your second series, you slid your front foot back instead of your back foot up, okay? So that one I want you to fix, okay? So here we go. First series only, just the series to your left. Get ready, go. I. Good, freeze, 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 freeze. So uh, press and go, yeah, finish it. Right there, press and, right hand is chambered tight. Look at the elbow, 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 elbow. Good, other, uh, to the right side now, go. Okay, better, check those elbows, please. You have to open up that chest, good. Now, back leg slides up, go. Now, you're gonna do the whole series from there down to the spear hand, guys. Ready, go. Hey. 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 Okay, and there you go, boom. Okay, so reset for me, guys. So just relax for a second. So here's the thing, guys, look. All of this is gonna come down to your ability to just get those first few pieces down. Does that make sense? Now, here's the thing. You've got the rough patterns there, guys, right? Uh, to, to, for the most part, right? We took this portion right now only to as far as Chris kind of has the, the piece. But here's what's more important to me, guys. Start thinking about the reality of this movement, right? Here's the thing. I, I love the traditional martial arts. Don't get me wrong. The thing that I hate about the traditional martial arts is that you have a lot of guys, like a lot of the arts, and you see some of it even happening in jiu-jitsu, that are starting to water it down and are not really teaching the functional aspect of it. And I am a firm believer in... You're gonna fight like you drill. Does that make sense? So, why do I still make you guys drill these things? Why do we? Why do we learn them? Well, one, it's kind of kind of nice just to have, right? The traditional aspect of what we do. But knowing that when I step here and I'm in this frame and I'm doing this, where is why? Why am I sitting here? Why am I not sitting here? Why am I not sitting here? Why am I supposed to be here? And then start breaking it down. When would I be here? What other natural movement might I be doing? 
Am I holding something up? Am I carrying something? Am I pushing something? What are the natural movements that you've done so far in your life, right? Chris, myself, Sarah, that puts us in similar moves, similar situations. Not exact, because it won't always be exact, similar. Does that make sense? Because in real time, it's all gonna break down. It's not gonna ever be pretty, pretty. Does that make sense, right? If I can help it, I'm gonna charge into her. I'm not gonna receive. That's another way of doing it. Does that make sense? Right, that's another way of thinking about it. I like to think attack oriented, right? Some people start, boom, and they move out. And there are some systems of martial arts that start the form or similar to ours like this. They receive the energy. Does that make sense? Sure. Cool, so think of those little bits and pieces, right? Just like I said, this little piece here, right? Now, how you can practice that, there's a lot of different ways you can practice that, right? But it's important to start visualizing. Now, here's the thing, if you cannot completely visualize the whole series, take one piece, and then start practicing it. Does that make sense? So for example, right now, you two guys actually have a pair to work with. Sarah right now and Ma, you guys are just gonna be visualizing this. But I literally want you guys right now to do this. You guys are gonna visualize that Colleen motion. You guys are gonna visualize carrying, or excuse me, avoiding the one, stepping back in, stopping the two. Does that make sense? Right? Now, you're gonna come right from here. Your lead hand is gonna distract the face, so it's gonna go all the way out, and this hand's gonna grab the wrist and pull back. Again, interestingly enough, look what it looks like. <laughs> Does that make sense? We in Kali pull here. The kata says pull back like this. Does that make sense? Similar motion that'll give you the right idea behind what's happening, or at least one idea about behind what's happening. So, just so you understand the movement again, right? So, I'm gonna swing at Sarah. She avoids the one. Right? You don't have to use a stick, but I just want you to envision. Right? She avoids the one. She starts to close the distance. You understand? Right here, that's where this gets cupped. You understand? Now, get closer so you, you guys can see this. Do you guys see better now? Yes, sir. Good. So take this out. This should have been uncomfortable. The second this cups, I'm already being hit in the face. And because Sarah's smaller than me, she should be putting her fingernails in my eyeballs. You understand? Boom. I should be going this way. Now, the strength of her arm keeps me there, and she should pop my elbow. Yes, causing that. Most elbows, when they get hyperextended, the hand goes like this, usually making it very difficult for the individual to keep holding on to whatever weapon they have, right? Which is another reason why some of the old warriors used to tie the weapon onto themselves. You understand? In case they got injured, they wanted it still around. Understand? Right? So one more time, so you understand it, we'll do it from a slightly closer angle so you guys can see. Right? So I go to hit her here. Look, as soon as it passes, she's charging already. Boom. I'm, that's all right. I already got hit. You understand? The freeze right there. Hand up. This hand up. Like you entered? No, no. Just like you entered. Right? So check this out. Just like Shannon. Don't move. You see that? Yes, sir. Sir. Okay, same kind of emotion almost, right? It's just she's got a horrible stance. I know. I know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> but she's right there, right now. The only thing that this doesn't have is this doesn't have the what? It doesn't have to come back here. Boom. But there's nothing saying that she couldn't, you know, do something with it. This could just as easily be a disarm of a knife and taking it right back into my neck. Does that make sense? We're just leaving that piece out. We're just looking at a gross motor skill right now. So she's going to evade the one. She's going to attack the two. And she's going to finish with the last motion, right? So this goes this way. She pops. Her elbow goes back, my hand would come out. That should cause me enough discomfort in the elbow to get her moving forward. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, sir. Cool. All right, guys. Let's uh, give you about three minutes, right? Those of you with no partner, you're just going to have to fake it. Those of you with partners, um, let's get it. Yes, sir. Let's see. Yeah, it's just like a kata. It's just like a kata. Now you can evade like this, right? But you can also move back. Remember. Yes. How come there's too much of the societal has been moved back to the body aspect of the girl who's been passed down? So now it's like crap. Which one? That's very similar. They're taller than me. Yeah, I heard so. Don't be tall, though. Yeah.
then I can no longer think that, look, it's going to be simple. I'm either coming, yes, see, that's the big piece. The big piece is the stick is here, boom, yes, that's where you have to come in, right? This is the important piece is that you didn't block on your face, right? And you didn't sacrifice the arm because arms will break, right? That movie nonsense is just that. I mean, if you have no other choice, yeah, the rest of it's crap, right? Boom, boom, there you go. And that's where, yeah, it's fine. Boom, so that's where you're coming. But you have to immediately hook, right? Now, here's the thing. I'm little, right? But your elbow should be glued to your side right now. Glued. Yes, glued, right? Because look, now keep it to your side. Keep it to your side. See me pulling away? Get your elbow away from your body. Wow. I'm little. You understand? Big dude, yes. He's going to go boom and rip his arm right back out. So you cannot, I mean, that's why, boom, that elbow back is so important. So I go one, I go two, yes, that was my elbow. <laughs> so, no, control, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. So I go here, one, two, there you go, but elbow, elbow, make sure the elbow's glued. There you go. Because this is the important piece. Does that make sense? Right? Because then it leads into all sorts of other stuff, all sorts of other jitsus, all sorts of other throws, all sorts of other you name that I, I cannot have this hit. Boom. Right when you make this positional, yes, this piece. Because that's where this is going to happen. Does that make sense? Right? And this is important. And, and of course, you wouldn't stay here forever. Then you would finish it with some sort of leg sweep, stomp, something, whatever comes into your mind. Right? Keep going, guys. You got about 30 seconds. Yes, sir. It's time for just a second. So I want to remind you guys of another concept that we've talked about in the past, right? So I noticed this just a little bit, you know, up, up here, uh, Chris, with you. And I know you're trying to be nice to your son and not hurt your son. But there's a concept that I need you to understand here, right? When I'm on this side of her, right? Let's say this is Preston, right? I don't want to go this way. You see how I move? She didn't move at all, right? I can come here. I need her to move. Because when she's off balance, remember, she's going to be thinking about her balance and everything else. I still need the kazushi, right? I still need to off balance her. I still need to cause this, right? And so even the hard part is, uh, and, I, and I go back I go back to something that, that Kyle's really big about in the Brazilian form of, of, of the martial arts that I share, right? It's the proper responses. I want to train for proper responses, right? If I did everything correct, Chris, right? If I came in and I did this, boom. I'm not moving here unless I'm purposely looking to set something else up, right? If I'm looking to set up a wicked Koda guy, hell yes, I go this way and boom, I'm gonna rip her wrist right off if I can do it, right? But right now, she's got a blunt weapon. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I didn't get hit. I'm inside now. That's the hardest retail, or excuse me, real estate to, to cover is that inside distance. She gave it to me. I just avoided and now I came in. Does that make sense? So now that I'm in, Boom, I want to keep this real estate. I can't afford for this real estate to get uh, back, you understand? So this stays here and it doesn't stay out. It has to stay here, right? With my hand over, I move her. I'm straightening out. Does that make sense? Our kata doesn't do this. Does it doesn't go like this. Does that make sense, right? And so I, you have to think of it in, in uh, who's replacing the center line, right? That's one of the things that I really like. Like a lot of the throwing arts, this is my space and time, right? If she's in my space and my time, I take it. That's my space. She's in my space. I'm going to move her. Does that make sense? Right? So I have to, I have to create a void, and then I'm going to fill the void, right? The thing is, I'm going to create a void by moving her body. I'm going to occupy, occupy the space that she had, and I'm going to send her into another space, right? And, and that's the finish. What that is, it's up to you, whatever your mood is, whatever you feel like doing, right? Now, Preston, in your case, because dad's a little bit bigger, right? Still, you should be thinking about, especially here in this situation, is did I break him down? So that's where your form would change, right? Did you did you have a discussion? Yeah, he did. He did once, and I said, "Ouch!" So I stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's remember, Dad's Dad's from Italy. He's fragile, all right. So yes, exactly, we're fragile. All right. So, but just think about those little concepts, guys. Does that make sense? 
right? So it's super, super duper important. Now, uh, really quick, we've got a little bit of time. So we're going to start with Sarah doing her pop-up show first. And then we're going to come back to you guys. And then we're going to finish with Adam. And I swear to goodness, Adam, if you don't do this correct today, uh, I'm going to send evil thoughts your way. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Let's watch Sarah. Hopefully she does this amazing basic kobudo. Kobudo is, is the study of the art. No worries. Mm -hmm. Wrong, okay. wrong. Did you guys see that? That was wrong. <laughs> When I did it for you, she did it fine. Hey! So somebody has not been playing with her bow staff very much. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so good job, Miss Sarah. Good job, Miss Sarah. Good job, Miss Sarah. <laughs> there you go. Good. All right. So um, let's go to the Adams household and see how they are faring. Gentlemen, who's going to go first? Uh, that one. Oh, I know, sir. Okay. All right, good. Can I see your father, please? That's as far as I know, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, Ma, your turn. Yes, sir. All right, Ma, it's your time to shine, brother. It's your time to shine. This is what you've been, this is it, right here. It's the glory. Oi, oi. Hey. Hi. 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 That's all I remember, sir. Holy smokes, you started off really well. You changed your hands a little bit too soon. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Right? Hey guys, do me a favor. Uh, review that last class that I did. I think I put it up I, 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 in detail at that back half of, of Pop Walker Show. Hopefully you guys saw it really well. If you didn't, please let me know, right? Because we want to clean that up and make sure that it looks very, very good for you guys, right? So um, let's work on, like I said, that little bit of the piece of the kata so far. Let's make it stronger. Please start to consider those bits and pieces, especially for my, my, my adults, right? My adults, that's really more important to me because we're losing the speed. Adam and Preston, they're young. They're going to be getting stronger. We're, we're not, right? And so they're going to be able to honestly get away with some nonsense in a real fight because they're faster and they're stronger and their body can take the shot. Ours cannot. You understand? Right? It just can't, we can't afford to make even a little mistake because it's going to cost us bigger than it'll cost them, right? That's not to say, young man, that I would rather you not practice good technique. I do. But there's small, small little things like that. To start breaking the pieces down. And if you're not sure what a sequence means, ask me because it does make a, a, at least to me it did. It made a lot more sense when I had an idea of what the heck I was doing. You know, why the heck am I doing this? What is that? You know, and when somebody explained it to me and I started breaking it down going, oh, okay, I can see myself doing that. Then I started to drill it better. And then it started to look better in my form, if that makes sense, right? Uh, as far as the classic, the, the 
Okinawan Cobra, like I said, look at that last class. I broke it down. I did that bow. Spent a lot of time with it. If you have any questions or you'd like to see something very specific, let me know, guys, because we do want to try to be making progress on this. I would like to try to progress above and beyond this one. But other than that, guys, it's time to get moving. So please, let's go ahead and stand up. We'll bow out. All right, guys, feet are together, hands are at your side, just like so. Bow courtesy, please. Good. Position, please. Good. Like belt creed. Our goal and our mission is to build good 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 excellence in all aspects of my life. life. I promise to continue to train in my training experience for the life and to my criticism goal of earning my black belt. Oh, caramba. Ciao, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, sir. See you on Wednesday.